Geothermal heat pumps fall into two main categories, open and closed loop. In this video, we'll discuss the differences and similarities. First, let's dig into a closed loop system. A closed loop system uses a sealed network of pipes filled with a special fluid called propylene glycol. During the summer, the fluid in the loop absorbs the heat in your home and sends it underground. Then, the ground's lower temperature cools it and sends cool air into your home. It's the same idea in winter, just reversed, thanks to the reversing valve. Closed loops can be installed three different ways, horizontal, vertical, or in a pond or lake. In an open loop system, water is the fluid in the loop, being drawn from a well or a water source. It is circulated through the heat pump and then released back into the ground or a body of water. The ambient temperature of the ground still acts on the piping as in a closed loop. However, the water moving in and out of the system gives it its name, open loop, because it dispenses the water after it runs through the piping. This option is only practical where there's an adequate supply of water from a well, pond, or lake to be the source and the sink for the system, the sink being where the used water is released from the loop system. Both systems have their advantages. Open loop systems are very efficient, but they require a suitable water source. Closed loop systems are more versatile, working in various locations and climates. By harnessing the Earth's stable temperature, geothermal heat pumps are energy efficient, environmentally friendly, and offer consistent comfort year-round. Whether it's an open loop or closed loop system, geothermal heat pumps bring us closer to a sustainable and comfortable future.